Hi Aquarius, this is your February monthly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of February. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in February. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Chariot with uh, the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. I like it. I like it a lot, Aquarius. Uh, this is like a done deal. The very first card that came out is the Two of Cups, you know, and that's uh, one of the best cards that you can get <laughs> for a committed relationship or marriage or just two people being in love with each other, right? This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of people, two people being on the same page when it comes to uh, how they feel towards each other, right? There's just pure love. We got two aces on the table, uh, that speaks volumes, whenever I see a single ace, that's great, when we see two aces, that's even better, right? Um, uh, the first three cards that came out were the two of cups, the four of wands and the ace of swords. I clarified the ace of swords, pretty much asking who is this person or um, who is involved here. <laughs> and we got the king of cups. So that would be the person coming into your life. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, Cancer in particular. Because the chariot, the first card in the potential outcome is the, per is the personal uh, cancer card. But it could be any water sign or any sign for that matter. Because the thing about the king of cups, it could be simply uh, your love interest. The king of cups often also comes through as somebody who is uh, mature in control of their emotions. But at the same time, still very loving. right? And I, then I also clarified uh, the two of cups and uh, we got the queen of swords clarifying it. And the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, that would be you. <laughs> Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So you're definitely on board. You're definitely feeling the same way this person is feeling. Because you are clarifying the Two of Cups, right? You're, it's going to be like an instant connection, instant chemistry with this person, right? Because uh, the two of you are soulmates with the Two of Cups. So it's going to be something in, in the, you know, how people end each other's sentences how uh, sometimes you don't have to ask, they already know what you're about to ask or they're all, they already know what you're about to say. You know, it's going to be a, a very um, soulmate type of a deal, I guess. The Ace of Swords um, that the King of Cups is clarifying is all about brand new beginnings. The Ace of Swords is um, a very straightforward, very direct conversation that the two of you will have. So yeah, nobody's going to be beating around the bush, nobody's going to be playing around. The two of you will basically sit down and have that conversation and um, you will very quickly discover uh, that both of you feel the same way. Uh, the four of ones, uh, the second card that came out, uh, is a card of a committed relationship or marriage. Some people call it the 1111 card, by the way. So perhaps divine timing is at play here at some uh, on some level, right? The four of ones to me personally always reminds me of an actual wedding because in some cultures when people get married they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches and the structure pictured in the four of ones always reminds me of that but ultimately it is a card of a commitment or marriage. So you're just getting right down to business with those three cards that came out. You know, the two of cups, the two people in love, the four of wands is a marriage card and the ace of swords is a very straightforward communication. And both of you are here, the queen of swords and the king of cups. I always love when we have a king and a queen in the same spread. Granted, most of you're probably different zodiac signs, but you're still vibing on the king and the queen level, right? Two mature individuals, two people who can compromise if you have to, and uh, two people who are prepared for a commitment or marriage. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Chariot with the uh, Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. As I already mentioned, the Chariot could be a Cancer you're dealing with, or the Chariot is all about moving forward and not looking back. Some of you could be um, relocating, perhaps they could relocate to your city if you're at a distance from each other, or obviously the two of you will be moving in together. And uh, the Chariot is, like I said, it's all about moving forward, not looking back. It's one of the fastest cards in the deck. Some of you could be traveling together, you know, all that good stuff. The Ace of Cups, 
in the middle of the potential outcome is the second ace. The Ace of Cups is all about love, pure, genuine, authentic love. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune is um, another travel card, but if we want to stay general, then the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. And uh, I guess the cherry on top is the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It's also a commitment or marriage card. It's often called the happily ever after card. If having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together. It's actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So I think the two of you will hit the ground running. You're not going to be wasting any time. You're not going to be you know, hesitating. No, quite the opposite. It's all systems go, all, you know, full steam ahead. And, and like I said, you will very, very quickly discover that uh, the two of you feel the same way about each other. And it's not looking back from that point on. All right, really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Eight of Wands, uh, we have the World, and we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. I see the two of you going on a trip together, you know. It could be a weekend getaway, or it could be for a week or a couple of weeks, but I do definitely see travel here. Um, and um, with the Knight of Cups, the first card that came out, it's done out of love. And the Knight of Cups, I think this is like a gesture. This is something they want to do for you, out of love for you. And uh, what would be a great reason um, for them to show you love, to do something out of love for you, Aquarius, in uh, February? Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps someone is having a birthday. Happy birthday, Aquarius, right? And I think that's what's happening here, right? So the Will of Fortune, clarified by the Eight of Wands, uh, definitely, definitely a trip. You know, it could be happening in February or perhaps at some point uh, later in the year. But uh, if it's happening later in the year, you'll know that you're going, right? And the, the world right next to the deck, this card could be... Um, about something remote, like a remote destination, right? Then the, the sun on the bottom of the deck is the happiest card in the deck, so you'll be pretty happy about this development, about this trip, right? Uh, the sun is also a place someplace warm, so if you do go, you could be going someplace warm, right? I don't know where you're at right now, but um, someplace nice, hopefully, with the sun card. But you'll definitely be happy with the uh, this uh, surprise, I guess, for this present for your birthday. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, uh, in the month of February. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Um, we have the Tower, we have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Swords. We have the Hierophant, clarified by the Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups. And uh, we also have Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio or pretty much any zodiac sign. This person, you know, took you through a ringer. I think that's how the saying goes. Uh, the Tower with the Five of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Swords and Death on the bottom of the deck. Those four cards paint a very grim picture. Uh, something really bad happened between the two of you. It's just... There is no other way to describe it. So you just couldn't sleep at night. Or you cried yourself to sleep. Right? The tower is a card of something that falls down to the ground. Perhaps you had really high hopes for it. And all of a sudden, bam, nothing. You know, death on the bottom of the deck is, a, is the personal Scorpio card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or death is what basically happened, right? Similar to the tower. The end. And uh, the Five of Swords right next to the tower, this is a card of a major fight or a fight that causes a breakup. This is a card of like severing ties in a very ugly manner. This is when people slam doors on the way out, right? And uh, the Nine of Swords, clarifying that Five of Swords, I think that's you, Aquarius. So like I said, you were just uh, devastated by it with that Nine of Swords. You were all stressed out. You had anxieties, you were depressed, you were sad, you couldn't sleep at night, you know, all that type of stuff. Um, I don't know if it's going to be possible to recover this connection, this relationship from some this type of a devastation, but this person is going to try. <laughs> we have the Hierophant clarified by the Six of Wands and uh, the Ace of Cups. 
Um, yeah, they've got their work cut out for them, and I think they know. They know what they did. They know they messed up really badly. The Hierophant is the personal tourist card. You could be dealing with a Taurus or the Hierophant. It's about something traditional, you know, like a committed relationship or marriage. The Six of Wands clarifying it used to be called the proposal card. So together with the Hierophant, they could propose to you. And I see it all the time, Aquarius. I see people thinking that the only way to get someone back is to propose to them, right? And uh, the Ace of Cups clarifying the Six of Wands with the Hierophant is pure, genuine, authentic love. So I think this person finally realized what they lost, finally realized what a big idiot they are, but I don't know if it's too late. I just don't know, Aquarius. I think it's going to be up to you. It all depends on what you want to do, you know, but like I said, this person will try really hard with those three cards. Wow. All right. So, yeah, good luck. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aquarius, this month. We have um, the Seven of Wands, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Star, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. A very straightforward spread. Aquarius, if you want something done, you'll have to fight for it. You'll have to fight for your place under the sun. But the good news, I believe you'll be able to do it. You'll manage. <laughs> right? So the Star right next to the deck, that's you, Aquarius. That's your card. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, right? That means you're in your element, you're in the um, uh, power position. The Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a work, business, and finances. The Nine of Cups in the middle, this is a card of a wish come true. This is a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And in order for you to reach that, you will have to embrace the energy of the Seven of Wands, the first card that came out. And yes, we went backwards. <laughs> so the Seven of Wands, this is somebody who is on defense. Somebody who is standing their ground, somebody who is defending their position, somebody who is depend, de, uh, defending their business, their vision. If you work at a company and uh, perhaps the company is trying to go one way or another way, you'll have to defend your vision. If you are running a project, you'll have to make sure everybody does what they're supposed to do. Um, basically, yeah, you've got some work ahead of you but the good news like i said if you do put that work that effort into it if you stand your ground if you defend your position if you defend your vision then you will get that wish fulfillment or personal satisfaction with the nine of cups all right so it's all in your hands aquarius this month but like i said the reward is going to be very fulfilling <laughs> all right cool Here's the advice or a word of wisdom for you, Aquarius, for the whole month of February. Uh, we have the Four of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. We have Temperance, and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, there are many reasons why I love tarot, and uh, here's Exhibit A. Remember how during the uh, X spread I said uh, that person's got their work cut out for them, right? because they really put you through. This spread right here, since this is an advice or a word of wisdom for the whole month of February, I think it has to do with that spread, with that particular X. And I believe the advice for you is to say no to that person. You can do what you want. This is just an advice. But I believe um, you should just put it to rest. Let this person go for good. Um, the Four of Cups, the very first card I came out is a card of a rejection, right? And it's clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior. This is a card of somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and the person they're dealing with. We also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a devastation, a broken heart. Right? It's a card of a betrayal. It's a card of an ugly breakup. Right? We did not have this card in the X spread, but that's the way you were feeling about it. I could... I could tell you, um, you were devastated by it, and the Three of Swords is a card of a devastation. So they're going to come back and uh, offer you to get back together with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a card of an apology. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card, by the way. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or Temperance is a card of healing and burying the hatchet. That's what they, they want. However, like I said, since the Four of Cups came out first, this is the universe telling you right away, what you need to do, or this is an advice, I should probably say, right? So yeah, the advice for you is to um, reject 
that person who really broke your heart, Aquarius. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, I have to end on this note, but I think uh, this is going to be good for you. You know, you getting rid of this person for good, right? I think it's going to benefit you in the long run. You'll be meeting this new person we saw in the first spread. Right, so um, happy birthday one more time, Aquarius. Hopefully, this spread resonates. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing February. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.